All right, so now I'm filling the uh, uh, the mixing barrel, and the mixing barrel is being pumped from there to over to here. Uh, there's new quilt bedding, quilt bedding in there. Uh, the old stuff was pretty dirty. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put the cichlid sand back in here because I have lots and lots of little pieces of the sand in the bottom of there, and I know it's gonna happen. It's just gonna end up in the bottom of there. So eventually, as it comes out and up and over into there I'll slowly be taking it out um, about the sand in the bottom of the barrel bucket uh, the carbon here get that back in here Start in there like that so that little trickle from there to there um, Not really much too much going on but a lot going on you know I can't really fill the system yet because it's just gonna suck that little bit of water right down so it's just pointless I might as well fill the horse trough up to about a little bit of that line a little bit higher probably right about up to there and then turn it on um, so I got my three caps of prime into my barrel uh, one cap is good for a hundred gallons, so I figure I only have maybe 150 gallons taken out, probably a little bit more. Um, so I just like to run the safe route rather than uh, have a bunch of dead fish. So hang on a second and we'll be filling it here in 10 minutes. Uh, let's see, I will, I will turn the heaters on now um let the water warm up a little bit and then i'll unplug them so it's gonna just gonna be a long drawn out process all right okay so now the heaters have cooled off and now i'm filling and now I will be filling the horse trough also as I uh, try to hold on to the phone and do all of the above. So, here comes filling the uh, horse trough. Filling the horse trough. And I hope this works. Fill bolt and filling the fish room. There isn't much flow, but it's definitely a lot more than people's uh, trickle feeding. This, uh, I'd really like to know what these tanks are getting uh, cycled over at, what rate. So like I said, that's getting filled. This is getting filled and emptied at the same time. And here comes the feedback from probably the bottom tanks. I didn't get a chance to clean any of them. I'm kind of pressed for time. So, yeah, that's a water change in probably four hours for the fish room. Lots of stops and stuff like that. That's family man for you. All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Later.